October is Clergy Appreciation Month. Fox News' Laura Simon found out what people in the St. Louis area and even a Fortune 500 company are doing to celebrate pastors, chaplains, and other spiritual leaders. They mean so much. I, I go to daily mass and I'm in and out of the cathedral pretty much and I see the work that goes on that they have to do to, to help people with marriages, divorces, funerals, any kind of concern whatsoever. And then you add in service for the poor, the addicted, the needy. They are doing so much and I have the greatest appreciation for their faith that allows them to serve 24 hours a day. Alyssa Gessling is one of hundreds of people attending Sunday morning mass at Cathedral Basilica of St. Louis. With it being Clergy Appreciation Month, Gessling has a lot of gratitude for the leaders of her church. They are men of God. I think that the sisters are women of God, and I think that they give their lives, and people don't realize how hard they work to help others, and they do it because they're marked by faith. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, nearly 9,000 people serve as religious workers across the U.S. About 65% of Americans identify as Christian. While Sam Brammeyer grew up going to Catholic Church, today he keeps an open mind to all beliefs. To everybody in any sort of um, leadership role, whether it be in the, in the church or out, um, you have the opportunity to have a massive impact on the communities and the people around you. So the fact that they're doing that day in, out, day in and day out is absolutely fantastic. Even some employers are implementing clergy programs to improve workplace culture. I spoke with the director of Tyson Foods Chaplain Services Program. He says they have 100 chaplains stationed across 22 states, including here in Missouri and Illinois. People want to be seen. They want to be heard. They want to be valued. They want to belong. And I think that that's what clergy uh, provide people. As odd as it might sound to have chaplains at America's largest food company, it really has become a part of our culture. Laura Simon, Fox 2 News.